Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to a 63 degree Friday, the 23rd of June. Today's my oldest daughter's birthday, too. Happy birthday there, Ashley, up north, hanging out in Tacoma land. But um, anyway, it's supposed to be another nice day today. I think in lower mid 80s somewhere. I think uh, Toledo here is actually 79. <laughs> It's not even in the 80s. It sure was beautiful last night. You can see the spots where the deer, that's not dogs doing that, and that's deer, because the dogs keep stirring them up and they go flying out of here. But they still, I think for the most part, the dogs leave them alone, but they must get bored at times and chase them, I don't know. Woo, that's a big old bumblebee. Hey, stay away from me though. All right, it's Friday. Let's go knock this day out and start a weekend. It's gonna be a nice one. At the park way out here in the North 40, look, I'm several pumps over. And there was three cars. That way that has those blocked off, not a one of them getting gas. They're just using it as a, as a place to park. You got open parking spaces everywhere. I just don't even understand. Amazing people can be that kind of lazy. That's a special kind of stupidism. People say, <laughs> this guy, I think he's just getting the napkin or something. God, it's it wonderful out here. Holy moly. 74 and sunny this morning in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. <laughs> party, party. Looks like, what did it say, 80... Seven? 80, yeah, 87. That's the high here. 79 in Toledo. Yeah. Crazy it can be that different. Just mm -hmm. drive away. But mama? Yes, a hubba. TJ, TJIF. No kidding. Man. It's been a long week. TGIF. Yeah, I know what you meant. <laughs> oh, it's funny how you're talking, but you're thinking about something else. Yeah. I'm already my day's already going through my head here at, at work but anyway have a wonderful friday you too hubba hub. and uh i may or may not see you as the day goes on yeah and uh, i think it's gonna be a freaky friday today i'm pretty sure it will but we'll see yeah. they come out just perfect yes the nice thing is when we leave it's the weekend uh-huh all right all right have a good day you too sweetie love you see you bye i love you bye-bye bye, -bye. Mm, bye. Finished up on the forks on this thing. Just got put the front wheel on. And while I'm doing brakes and all that stuff, I, I leave all the body panels off. When I, if I have to take them off or anything, I just leave them off. But, my little drain plug, the used washer, drain bolt washer, an absolute perfect fit. So I have two brand new ones. This one throwing the garbage before you get it mixed up with anything. There's some HP2, that's the pre-mix that I use, Honda. And that's that HP Trans. That's what's in the tranny. And you know how those um, RC4 wheel drive, I fought them things and fought those things. Couldn't get the Proline tires going there, not even the little small mini tires this you know 1.4.19 inch ones well it pays to spend some time looking around somebody's website if you look at their rims it clearly states that they only guarantee them to fit the wheels that they sell and they have a kit specifically for proline tires you got to use their specifically designed rings for proline tires so i bought two sets of those they got two wheels i love the wheels i love the way they look but uh i want the proline tires on there so that's cool i got drain washers for the and lubes for the harley and i bought i'm gonna try a set of these tires these are from rc4 wheel drive as well I've seen them used on a few 
few uh, vehicles in video, so i right, give them a try. Got to set them. <laughs> Parts people S selling a, a mismatched tire for a bike and expecting us to put it on and uh, guess what no you would lose your job people oh man lawyers would have a field day with that something ever happened to that guy Mis mismatching cars big old tall truck you can probably see halfway around that corner he just ain't paying no attention look at this no great big herky windshield on there oh that's just perfect it always cracks me up the people that buy something like this and then put great big old touring windshield and turn it into a touring bike why didn't you buy an RT or buy a touring bike of some sort We see that with the Rikers too. And I, I see them with Sportsters and everything else. You know, some guy had to take a poor Iron 883 and turned it into some, some kind of a world traveler. I mean, I guess you do what you want, but it seems kind of, I don't know, seems kind of pointless to me. <laughs> but I do this for a living, so nice job there idiot got a bike in the back it's probably heading to go get a spark plug we'll grow up and go why won't my 15 year old dirt bike that I've never serviced why won't it run why, why won't it <laughs> he's got an acro muffler on this thing and whew, she sounds good just a nice little perfect little uh, look at that guy just dump garbage outside his just opened his door threw a whole bag of garbage and now he's gonna drive off and leave it there what was i seeing the other day that's a special kind of stupid right there models man they're spunky they got nothing on them it's just a boxer motor with a set of wheels and handlebars so you can hold on to it it's funny you get these older uh but boxers how crude they shift this is a 15 man you like especially around 19 i think it was and up uh, it was first i know it's very noticeable in 17 because when we first became a dealer in 16 that's what we had a showroom full of 16s you know that's okay if you ever ride one of the old air oil cool or even older yet the transmission was separate from the engine it had its own oil and everything man those were literally like driving a John Deere tractor Run to clank. <laughs> we had one in, I don't know what it was in for, it was uh, looking 06, 09, something like that. And tires and something. Oh, oil filter change and tires, that's what it was. Something simple, we can handle that. You can't always hook up to them on the computer. Although, I don't know if that worked on that one. Maybe it did, I don't know. That's some of the old school Beamer stuff. Man. Could I just not go back? I'd be all about that. What do y'all think? Let's tour on a sport bike. <laughs> Thank you.
I took this thing on a trip, and that's just how I'd leave it. That little fairing just has just enough kick that you know, over long distance it takes the pressure off your torso and just makes it just a pleasing ride. I've seen some like spy like F3s and stuff that people put a windshield on there. When you're riding that thing, you just won't be in a car at that point. That thing's just so quiet and you're so closed off from everything. You're, I don't know, you just lo totally lose the motorcycle experience. But I think that's just people that use people to do that or like new to motorcycles don't know anything about it and don't have any history, you know. Like we like, like to say, you hear a lot as I came out of the womb with a pair of with a set of handlebars in my hand. <laughs> I like those old dashes on these things too. Has a liquid crystal display. Just very basic information. Good old analog uh, odometer on there, speedometer. That's nice. TFTs are cool and all high tech and all that stuff. But I deal with that stuff day in and day out. I just want myself a nice simple motorcycle. That's the way I like it. That's where I come from. That's where I belong. You ever notice that the simpler they are, the least amount of problems you have. You don't have any weird, crazy stories to tell about how something <laughs> software got corrupted or who knows, you know. It's always something crazy. So how do you like that with them Proline wheels? Me, oh, just madder than a hornet. How could you sell wheels like that that don't fit? Well, there is a disclaimer. I literally went back to where the wheels were and just keep digging down. It's got all kinds of cool, cool info there. And they, they warn you that it may not fit all tires. We can only guarantee they'll fit tires that we sell other than that your mileage may vary and then they have the rings because I mean you got to make pro lines work you, you have to I mean literally everybody uses pro lines in one form or another if you don't you just haven't made it there yet once you go pro line, you're done. Of course, you know, the RC world is just like everything else. You got, you know, influencers. And, you know, they get sponsored by these different people, you know. So they'll, they'll just sing, uh, sing the praise of or some brand or another <laughs> tire because they're getting, getting paid to do so. to it not well sound sounds good too but I mean just the pull there's no weight power weight ratio is really nice on this bad boy those acropovic exhaust just they always just work so well and they don't scream out loud. All that noise is just an annoyance. Noise pollution. And it creates noise fatigue for the rider. And just, you literally annoy everyone that you go by. Nobody likes it. Kids do, you know, loud is cool.
Yeah, it's funny. You know, you look up at that thing, it doesn't seem that high. But if you're sitting up in that, you go, dang, I must be 150 feet up. <laughs> Nice little shady spot. Ooh, gee, ooh, gee. Yeah, there's that fork feel nice. That's nice fresh forking fluid in there. Oh yeah. BMW brakes. It just worked so good. <laughs> good brakes, good power. It's always fun. I appreciate you guys coming along for a rip. Got a drive shaft recall inspection thing right there on that that black gs i just do a little going over on this thing and i'll we'll call it done hot dang well hello there youtube man wasn't a freaky Friday, but it sure was a busy Friday. It was that. Yeah, we were all running amok. <laughs> but I got got the things I needed done, done, which was nice. Oh, yeah, and I got the, the R model done. We took that for a ride. That was nice. Then my son starts texting me. He found a 45 tooth rear sprocket. He found the stock throttle housing and brake perch assembly, kind of like the clutch is. Found, found that. What else did he find? Throttle cable and I don't remember. Found a bunch of bunch of stuff. He goes, "Don't order a sprocket. I already got stuff coming." I'm like, "Dang, yeah, that'll be nice." Forty-five tooth. Yeah. And he reminded me that the stock is a forty-three, so that's really not that big of a difference. But you're a little kid, you know, weigh a whole lot less when you're riding that thing. But uh, anyway, that uh, 45 would be great. Heck yeah. Adding five teeth to the back. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you keep the sprockets, you know, a lot of people take the cheap way out and put a really small front sprocket on there. People don't realize, and they go, why do I go through chains? When you put a small sprocket up front on a motorcycle, that creates a lot of torque. And that will wear that chain out in no time. Mm-hmm. Because the sprocket wears, because the sprocket's under a severe amount of tension, you know, because it's so small. And, uh, of course, the sprocket wears, it takes your chain with it. But, yeah, not a good thing. Mm -mm. But, you know, you know, you don't want to have the stunt bike-looking rear sprocket on the back at the, in the mm -hmm. end either, no. you know. It looks so crazy. But, anyway, it's a good day. The weekend's upon us. I've been in there tinkering around with them tires and wheels and... <laughs> well, I'm gonna get it. Added. I'm just noticing it's not looking the way I want them to. But anyway, that's uh, first world problems in the RC pit. <laughs> but anyway, on that we're gonna bounce. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. All right. We see you in the morning. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. <laughs>